Welcome back, and we are on the grid of the Belgian Grand Prix at Spa, but before we get started, let me show you a quick clip just so you can see how intense this race is going to be, and this is just lap one. Two ahead of them, all battling through. If you guys who don't know or haven't seen this, this is the back straight. This is going to be flat out all the way, including the king to the left, as we go one, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to try and get in this. This is an absolute mess, but let's see how... But before we finish that, let's get back on the grid, form this up for the start of lap one. That will be at the end of this lap, but we're going to go ahead and line it up as the lights are about to come on. Uh, you see we're also starting on medium tires, so the start's not going to be as easy as the guys behind on soft. Track control will also play a bit of a, a role here. And we got all five lights, and lights out and away we go. We've got the Ferrari coming up on the inside. He's real good start as well. I'm terrified of this corner. I'm going to play a little safe on the outside. He makes a beautiful lunge up the inside. Actually makes it all the way ahead. We're going to try and follow him through as we see parts from a car go in. Uh, we decided to go wide just out of fear that someone behind us may lose it uh, and go a little wide as well. I don't want to get collected in it. As we head up through Eau Rouge, which is probably one of the most iconic sections of, of any track on the calendar, arguably. Onto the straight, which is... Uh, it's, it's an incredibly long straight. At the end of it, it can kind of catch you napping sometimes because you almost forget that uh, you got to drop from, what is this, 320 kilometers right down. But as we go through, we got cars absolutely anywhere. We got the McLaren ahead of us, the Ferrari ahead of him. The Ferrari goes left and goes wide. We're going to keep an eye on him so he doesn't hit us, but he does come back into the track in front of us. I believe he may have made contact there with the McLaren, but he does go up the inside. As we're trying to find a way through, Jamie gets on our right. I did think I could make it through that gap there, but Moss kind of kind of puts the car in the way. I didn't realize until now he's got damage on him, though. Bit of knowing that he wants to hold to the race line with damage, but it is what it is. As we go behind him, get real close to him as we make it to the left. And we're going to go ahead and take this overtake near. At this point, it's being dangerous for us to stay behind. I'm just going to gun it and get out of here. He does go wide off the track as we're going to go ahead through uh, the next section. I don't know if he just maybe, if he braked or if he just didn't have the speed. Uh, the real close call, but we made it. As we come around, we've got Frosty and the Williams up in the wall on the left. As we go through this turn here, we've got one, two, three, four, five cars, two ahead of them, all battling through. If you guys who don't know or haven't seen this, this is the back straight. This is going to be flat out all the way, including the king to the left. As we go one, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to try and get in this. This is an absolute mess, but let's see how it works through this corner right here. We've got one car left, one car right, second car right spinning off. We've got the car on the left, Locker, who didn't actually get an accident, just avoiding it. He comes up the outside. We're not going to go and we're not going to do a lunge. There's no reason to risk it this early. As the Aston Martin decides to cut across and basically pull a U-turn, I believe he's a reserve driver. Maybe he didn't know better, but it is what it is. Uh, no damage in the end of the day. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to skip to the end of lap two, which is going to be when this virtual safety car ends. And we're now following Locker through, who's battling with Jamie. Jamie, the Mercedes, who passed us uh, in the first lap when we were trying to get past Moss. And they're going to go side by side here. So we're going to stick back at roughly the same spot as last lap. We don't want to get collected by this. Once again, flat out through here, there is no lift. As we go through, we got Locker with a spin. Somehow doesn't collect Jamie in that, which is phenomenal. Uh, I'm not sure how Jamie made it out of that, but good on him for doing it. Um, he does go into the pit, so I'm not sure if he gathered damage from it. But uh, yeah, another close call. This is just shows you how difficult this track really is. Spa is one of my favorite tracks to drive, but the curbs here could be an absolute menace. We're gonna skip ahead to lap five though. We've got Dan behind us and he seems so far to be much quicker on the straights. I'm starting to lose DRS or ERS trying to stay ahead of him here. So I wanna save some energy up. When we get to the top here, we're gonna find a way to move out of the way and let him through. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw his clip up here to the right as well, just so you can see it. We get under the straight, take a look to see where he's coming from. Is he going to go left or right? I'm not quite sure. He sticks to the left, he takes the outside. We're going to let him through, slow it down just so we don't hit him, follow him through. But at this point, we can now just follow him for the toe, save some ERS, um, and we'll do this for a couple laps, or as, as long as we can. Jumping ahead to the next lap, we have now saved our energy. We're at almost 90%. Going to this technical section here, dropping it down to fifth, down to fourth, careful of the curbs because they can spin you just like this as he goes around why we just miss him as he goes just in time okay, if there okay. was no ghosting we would have plowed into the front of his car on that one very close very lucky not for him unfortunately but we're going to jump ahead to lap nine we're following my teammate anime and flash in the mercedes who's currently the leader of the championship through i know this is the lap that anime is going to pit we had talked about it beforehand flash has already moved over to mediums i am still on the same mediums we're now up to p3 uh, this is taken through strategy. This is everyone else has had to pit. I haven't had to yet. Um, this was the intent of the alt strat. Uh, when everyone else pits, I can keep going on and gain some positions up. 
so no problems there. So we come along and we are right behind Flash, but I know he's running very, very low wings, very low downforce, and he's much faster than us with his traits. He's absolutely rapid. We've got Savage behind us. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing we did with Dan. We're gonna let him through. My idea here is what I'm hoping is I can use him for a tow, and I'm gonna follow him up to Flash. I know I can't s stick with Flash in the straights uh, with the setup I have, I know I can do well in the corners, but he's going to run for me in the straight. So we're going to use Savage here to pull us along to keep us up within the DRS of Flash so he doesn't just run away from us. We are going to pit in about four more laps, but for now we don't want to lose the spot. We want to stay as close as we can uh, just to make it easier down the road. As we go ahead, we're following him through and we get a safety car. This ruins my entire strategy. Uh, reason being is this is lap 10. I don't want to pit till 14. I'm moving over to soft tires and on spa, the track being the longest track, uh, being having all these turns, high speed, there's a lot of wear on the tires. Soft tires, I don't feel comfortable going 12 laps on, I don't think they can. The 9 laps that anime did was, was doable, but it's on the, the long side of what those softs can do. Uh, 12 laps just means that my tires are going to be destroyed by the end. They'll be on mediums, which will be much better, and I'm going to lose all any positions I make. So this was kind of a tough one for me. I honestly don't know how to play it. Um, what I'm trying to do is see how long the safety car will go. Maybe I can drag it out a little bit uh, and then go on to my softs. But honestly, it's it's kind of a, a lose-lose scenario for me here. Because if, if I go to my softs now, I'm not going to be any good at the end of the race. If I wait and pit when in lap 14, when this is over, I'm going to have to do a 30 second pit stop instead of half the time I would get if I do it while on a safety car. So I'm trying to figure this out as we go in our corner here. I'm not, I'm paying attention, but my, my mind is mostly focused uh, on when I'm going to pit, how we're going to pull this off. As we come through, we just missed the cars. I didn't see the safety car in the shade up there or them slowing down. Uh, very close call, but we made it. But this is where the game glitches out. So because I lunged by, it then tricked it into thinking it was my position. Um, tells me to overtake Savage, which I do, and now I realize this is just because of um, because of the glitch. Uh, and if you look at the top left too, now Flash has gotten a penalty, which is a bullshit penalty. He did nothing wrong. The game just kind of tricked itself into thinking that he was supposed to give me that position back, and because I didn't take it from him, it gives him a penalty, which I'm pretty confident will get taken away from him. Um, I even submitted my clip just to show the steward so he can have his penalty removed because that's not fair at all. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to pit right now. As we look in, it does say that we'll come out about 12th, uh, which I'm willing to take. If I had noticed though, there's not that many people actually in this race left anymore. So realistically, what I sh it didn't matter too much if I was 12th or 13th because when the race restarts, we're all together anyway. Um, would it have changed my, my strategy? I I'm not sure. Probably not. Um, now looking forward, there are a few more uh, virtual safety cars or safety cars coming that I don't know about. Um, so hindsight's 2020. It does kill the alternate strategy though. Essentially what would have happened is I would have pit on lap 14. I would have been a very large gap to the rest of them. Uh, I probably would have came out roughly 5th place, 6th place, uh, on soft tires ready to go. So it would have been a perfect strategy without that, but you can't predict everything. We jump ahead to lap 12, safety car ending, resume racing. We're going to go ahead and follow the Ferrari through here. Heading to turn one, a very tough turn as well. Very easy to go wide as Paper Stream goes at the left on the Haas. Very kind of him though, he stays out of the way so he doesn't hit anyone. I respect him for that. I've actually seen him do that a couple times in past races. Uh, he makes sure that if he does make an error, he's not going to screw with anyone else. So a lot of respect to him for that. I'm going to leave this lap up because this lap, uh, if the... If the strategy wasn't ruined, if my race wasn't ruined by the safety car, it was definitely ruined by this lap, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to break down to fifth, then cut into fourth just for the extra rotation. As we go through, you got to be careful on the throttle not to overdo it, but you can go flat out through here. Next turn, you got to be careful being downhill. It's very easy to lock up. Looking for a gap on it. We are gaining a bit of some uh, pace here. I know in the middle I'm going to be quick. Uh, I don't know what his setup's like, so we'll see on the straights, but we're going to follow him through for now, putting the ERS on just for a bit of a boost as we just a quick flip down to 7th and then full throttle through this whole section. Absolutely crazy too. It's all, it's very, very fast here. It's an absolute blast. So we're heading to the technical section here, dropping it down to 5th. 
being real careful with that curve so it doesn't spin us like we saw happen with Dan earlier on that uh, the curve ahead of it. Following them through here, I know I've got a little more speed here. I know I get on the gas sooner than they do, but unfortunately I get my first warning and that's important, remember that. That's my first warning uh, right now for exceeding track limits. As the Ferrari went wide, but he manages to get back in, I did consider trying to go for it, but he was sticking with us real close, so no reason to waste the energy for now. Follow him through, we can maybe get a lunge here, but he's gating, so this is where I know that he's got a really low drag setup. As we follow him through, we're gonna f I think about following the Alfa Romeo. He closes it off, possibly looking for a switchback, but it pushes us out and it gives us a penalty. Now, it's supposed to be three until you get a penalty, but that right there, for some reason, gave me a double penalty. It's a problem with the game, um, and it basically gave me both penalties for one issue. So it gives me a three second penalty, which will drastically affect things. Um, in the end of the race, as you saw from Silverstone, ending without penalties, uh, close to the other drivers can can give you a lot of uh, an advantage. But I was trying my best that one. I don't completely think it was on me. I mean, I went left just to avoid him anyway. Um, but it is what it is. We can't do much with it. As he makes it through, I'm going to try and find a way to follow him so I don't lose uh, I don't lose Moss. And we've got the Alfa Romeo goes left, a uh, little wide, stays out of the room though doesn't get, make any contact. These two cars going side by side. We've got Moss and Michael, the Ferrari and the McLaren battling it out. McLaren makes it away on the outside. Good move on his part too. As we go into this fast section here, we're gonna follow this Ferrari out. We gotta find some way we can make it through these guys. I know I can do it on a straight. Doing it in one of these corners up here is real tricky. Uh, just because of how technical it is, uh, there's not much room to overtake here. Um, so we're gonna look for our shots. We got another car that's Stopped on the track uh, on the right there and almost hit it, but it's ghosted, so we're okay. We follow through, but this is going to trigger yet again another safety car. And if you look at the lap that it's on, lap 14, this is when I said it was going to be my ideal pitting lap. So if I had stayed out, I could have expected to be uh, maybe around fourth or fifth place right now, so not a huge loss, but farther up on the grid, I would have been able to pit right now because we're about to go to the pit lanes and I would have came out on my softs. Can't do anything about it though. We're gonna jump ahead to lap 18. Uh, we've been racing for a bit now. We're in P7, surrounded by penalties. So this is good because if I'm assuming I can get mine removed, which would, if these guys overtake me, which we've got anime going up the inside here, <laughs> risky one for sure, um, especially given that he's my teammate and I'll always let him through on a straight if he's quicker. Um, but he's trying to claw back after um, some early mistakes and no contact made, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but this is basically going to, to lock the race down. Um, some of these guys went onto softer tires through those safety cars that I didn't. So with mine being uh, more worn out now and being on a higher downforce, I, there wasn't much I can do but just hang on. I know there's some penalties ahead though, so we're gonna cross the line track position on the eighth, but where do we come out? We dropped to fifth, so exactly what I mean. You can see the power of, of not having penalties or not having as many penalties. Um, so we will see what happens. I believe Anime, who got bumped down to 10th or 12th right now, my teammate is actually going to come back to fifth. Uh, his penalty didn't count. I'll be at about sixth. I wish I could show you the standings. They're just not out yet, so I will show those to you soon. Um, this will bring myself up a couple places. I know my team is now up into seconds. But stay tuned, I will check back with you guys next week as we go into Texas and I'll make sure to include the standings then.